What are they going to do? They're going to lie about everything, whether it's Joe Biden lying about uh, the deficit and inflation and all of that, or it's just mainstream media in general lying about what's going on with crime and what's going on with the woke stuff. Uh, here, do we have the warning? There you go. It's the ladies of The View. Here's Joy Behar lying about crime. I want to say there is no yeah. both sides here no. and a lot of them pr like to say it including Ted Cruz when he was here and I'd like to remind everybody that it was the Democrats the not the Democrats who stormed the government that day and tried to kill the vice president yeah okay and the, the Republicans now coming up to the uh, next election which is next week by the way um, they, all they do is talk about crime 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 well I looked it up Murders in major cities have fallen by 4% so far in 2022, compared with the same period a year ago. So but crime is not on the rise. It's actually going down under Joy. Okay, so we're going to give you some stats. Um, Joy is a liar. You know she's a liar. Um, the fact that she even mentions January 6th, it was the Republicans who stormed the Capitol and tried to kill Mike Pence. I know a bunch of people with no weapons who had no plans. Again, there was the guy with the Lego set and we apologize for that. Um, it's just pure nonsense. You know what's happening in New York City. And Joy, you've lived in New York City all your adult life. I used to live two blocks from you. And when, when I lived there in New York City, I used to see you wandering around every now and again. I'm guessing you don't wander around as much. I am completely confident in saying that you are not wandering around New York City as much as you used to because it is not safe in New York City. Right, go to Midtown, where it used to be bum, bumbling and 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 bubbling with people in suits going to work, doing things. It just ain't anymore. It's a lot of people, kind of looking shady, wandering around, and the smell of weed everywhere. It ain't safe. So anyway, we're gonna give you some actual stats. So uh, she was almost sort of right about one thing, but there's a little context that, of course, she left out. Uh, here's some info from Axios. Overall violent crime spiked 4.2% from January 1st to June 30th, 2022, compared to the same period last year, the survey by the major cities Chiefs Association found. Robbery skyrocketed by nearly 12% and aggravated assaults increased by about 3%, the survey of 70 agencies found. Now here's the real interesting one from Time Magazine. Homicides and other violent crimes dropped slightly in the first half of this year, Compared, but violence in major American cities still remains dramatically higher than it was before the pandemic. The new statistics come from the Council on Criminal Justice, which released its mid-year 2022 crime report on Thursday, examining crime rates from 29 cities. Homicides decreased by 2% between January and June 22, compared to the same period in 21. Okay, however, the slight decrease is less satisfying when considering that homicide that's murder, people. Hit historic highs in some cities in 2020 and 2021. The homicide numbers for the first half of 2022, which are based on data from 23 cities, are still 39% higher than they were in the same period of 2019. So this is also one of those ones where, as I often say, you, you can't totally get lost in the numbers. There's a little bit of reality that you just have to feel. If you are, let's say, a small business owner in New York City, do you feel confident that your windows are not just going to be broken the next time Antifa or BLM wants to march through and destroy things? Say after a midterm election when it doesn't go the Democrats' way and they decide to kind of release the pressure again with a little, a little violence, a little let's burn down a Pep Boys and a Target, right?